Coming up today, we're chatting with local band Slow Cinema. The band's just developed since we first started. I mean, we started in COVID and that was a whole thing of like just trying to figure out who we were. I'll tell you about Clean Up Australia Day and Dan will tell you about the epic lineup announced for a day on the green. Produced on Awabakal and Warramai land, this is the good stuff powered by BYD on Newcastle Live. This is good. Good stuff. Clean Up Australia Day is once again rallying Australians to come together for Clean Up Australia Day 2024. Last year we saw over 760,000 Australians roll up their sleeves to help spruce up their community. Clean Up Australia Day is set to happen on the 3rd of March in 2024 and for those who aren't able to physically participate, you can also donate to the cause. To find out more and register, you can head to newcastlelive.com.au. Good stuff. Local band Slow Cinema have just released a brand new single called Pocket Knife. Here's a chat that we had with them last week. Since it's been a while since we last caught up, I want to know what have been some highlights from the year so far. (laughs) I mean, we released um, Sizzler early, way earlier in the year, and that was was a pretty fun run, but... um, and then we, after that, entered into the studio at the Grove Studios to record our debut EP, which we're now at the beginning leg of starting to release. Um, so that was all a really fun experience, working with like, the amazing Jack Nigro. Um, so good. It, yeah, he's just absolutely incredible. Um, and then since then, it's just been a massive process of trying to get it all ready to go. And we've had, had a whole bunch of setbacks, but we're finally here. So there's been... I don't know, it's been a bit of a kerfuffle, but... Yeah. <laughs> Highlights probably recording and then, um, yeah, it's kind of all coming to a big climactic experience now. So this is probably the highlight right now, so it's good. But yeah, definitely recording was such a great highlight and yeah. Yeah, so you've just dropped the first single from the EP, Pocket Knife. Can you tell me a bit about the inspiration for the song? Yeah, so Pocket Knife, we're very good at planning who's going to talk. Um, Pocket Knife was musically, I found just a throwaway riff on my garage band Graveyard Dead Files. Nice. And I was like, oh, this might be all right. And we kind of brought it in and worked on it. And it came out pretty fun, pretty poppy. Um, Tyler wrote some sad lyrics to it. So um, pretty tried and tested, sad lyrics, fun music. So... (laughs) Yeah, it's kind of where it came from. It's a bit of a breakup song over some fun music. It has a bit of a different sound to what you've previously released. I feel like it's a bit more grungy and lo-fi. When you walked into the studio, were you going for something different? Realistically, like the band's just developed since we first started. I mean, we started in COVID and that was a whole thing of like just trying to figure out who we were. And I think, you know, we're still trying to, still trying to get what we are. But um, I guess we sort of had this... Had like the five songs we want to record and they're all quite different from each other but I guess like the the underlying theme was always quite the same and we knew we wanted to end up with a product which just sounded really nice and sounded like we were moving forward a little bit so we definitely didn't want it to sound just like the old singles that were released we still wanted it to tie in but we wanted it to be us moving forward as well. If you had to wrap up the EP in a word or a sentence, what would that be in terms of theme? Everyone come up with a word. Yeah, a word. Eclectic. Everything's pretty different. Yeah, eclectic's a good one. It's pretty tied together by Tyler's vocals, thankfully, because all the songs are just a bit of a mismatch, so Tyler ties it together pretty nicely. It's It's kind of an EP to find ourselves. That's... That's how I view it. It's kind of, yeah, it is all, all of us. It's the first time we've really collaborated as well because I come into the band, what was it, last year or year before and like just moving to Newcastle. So it's the first time and it's all of us collaborating on four tracks, five tracks that are just, they are different, but yeah. It's vast. Vast. <laughs> vast is a good one. Go. Yeah. We'll take that. It's way more than a sentence. <laughs> I'm very sorry. It's more than a word. <laughs> <laughs> we chat DDP'd it. Yeah, it's gone through the colleague. <laughs> Um, so what are some new elements from Slow Cinema that we're going to hear if you're exploring still and creating a bit of a hodgepodge of a um, project? Yeah, what are some new things that we can expect? Extra elements that we wouldn't normally have in our live show. So we got to 
I guess, make it a little bit more separate from our live show and make it more of a recorded experience. So we've got some really nice grand piano coming into into this one, just making it so much bigger than it was. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's still it's still us. We got the girls on it. We got three girls singing on it on cool. three of the songs. So um, that sounded pretty epic so hopefully we'll be able to get them up for some live shows when we've got the space in Newcastle yeah. some of the stages are a bit yeah. small <laughs> but um yeah there was a bit more keys um fender roads um and yeah just the stuff that Jack brought in was just hectic never would have thought of it really that stuff can you tell me about the experience of working with Jack? Because he is renowned for just making everyone feel really comfy and adapting quite quickly to bands that he's working with. So what's it like behind the scenes? I think, he, yeah, again, he was really relaxing. I was actually incredibly sick when oh, no. we were, I thought I had COVID. And <laughs> yeah, I was, so I was, I was fluey as, but his, um, the way he records and the way he makes you feel, he, he does push you a lot. And he, he makes you question, like, is that the right way to play this? And so he does make you kind of second guess yourself, which I think is fantastic. So it's kind of, it was really great to have some of those, like, you know, the bass tracks I recorded and rethink them. And then especially Pocket Knife in, in the verses, they were quite rethunk on the spot. And I think he's really good at just kind of, yeah, making it flow. Um, yeah, but he was a really good personality and just, yeah, it was great, great experience. Because we've all come in there and we've heard these songs a thousand times and he's yeah. got these fresh ears and he's just, he's not backwards and coming forward with what he thinks about it. So, I mean, he n never says anything bad, but um, he's definitely got thoughts and he, he pushes you to try stuff. Like, I mean, so recording the drums, we all did that together to help Jared so he could like flow along with us. And then while we're in that room, Jack was behind the glass just being like, how about we try this in the structure of it? And we're all like, sure, man, let's give it a go. And honestly, it made the song so much better. That's brilliant. I'm so excited to hear it. Now, you actually have some gigs lined up before the year's over and quite a few. Can you tell me about what's coming up? Sam. Yeah, I reckon I've got him. Um, Where's the spreadsheet? So we need a spreadsheet out. Um, so we're doing a single launch at King Street on the 9th of December. That is with JD and the Hunger Men and Good Glow. And then we're playing at the Junkyard in Maitland on the 10th. That's with JD and the Hunger Men. Um, then we have the 23rd of December and nothing before that. Yeah. No, 23rd December, we're doing a Christmas show at the Oak in Tice Hill. Love the Oak. Beautiful. So that's us for the year. Yeah. It's going to be huge. That's exciting. Oh, wait, mm. I didn't <laughs> ask. Is there a name for the EP? Have you announced that yet? No, I don't think there will be. I think it will really? be self-titled. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I feel like um, it's kind of slow cinema mm. that's it like you know it's just us all coming together and creating this ep and i think it's yeah it's exciting to kind of just have it as slow cinema and just see where it goes yeah i'm so really really keen to hear it so thank you so much for spending some time with me today it's been awesome to catch up thank you for having us thanks thank you. cheers this is where it's so good uh, good stuff Live Nation will bring iconic American singer-songwriter James Taylor to the Hunter Valley for a day on the green at Bimbadjan next year. Aussie artist Josh Pike and Ella Hooper will also hit the stage on the day. It's all happening on Saturday the 27th of April 2024. To find out more, head to newcastlelive.com.au. Stay hydrated. Uh, good stuff. That's it for the good stuff today. Thank you so much to Slow Cinema for joining us for a chat. You should definitely go and check out that latest single. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow from 4pm for more of the good stuff. <laughs>